guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make the most delicious Brussels sprouts you've ever had. Now, I know that most people I run into and know hate Brussels sprouts, and that's because you've never had them this way. They're very simple, but you're, they're done right. And trust me, I'm with you. I don't like something that tastes like feet just as much as the next guy doesn't. But these are fantastic. And the recipe is just so simple and easy, but it's just about doing it right. What I have here are some fresh Brussels sprouts, and all I've done is I've cut the woody little end off, cut it in half, took off the, uh, the outer layers, and they're done. Perfect. A nice amount of sliced garlic, I've got a lemon, salt and pepper, and a good quality extra virgin olive oil. And that's it. They're simple, but they are delicious. There's just something about the way that they're prepared that really makes them as good as they are. So what we're going to do first is kind of like part, part boil them just for a couple minutes. And what I have here is a large pot with some water and some salt, and I'm just bringing that to a gentle boil, and I'm going to put my Brussels sprouts in that water for three minutes, okay? Now most people just boil the life out of them and then put them on a plate in a bowl and there you go. And I'm with you, I'm not eating that because that doesn't smell good and it does not taste good. It just tastes awful. So these are just delicious. So trust me, I am like the biggest critic when it comes to Brussels sprouts. So if I tell you they're good and I eat them on an everyday basis in the winter, then you've got to just trust me on this. So I'm going to put my Brussels sprouts in and I'm going to let them go for three minutes and after three minutes I'm going to put them back into the same bowl and get a skillet ready. I took my Brussels sprouts out of the water after three minutes and I just put them on a paper towel just to absorb any extra water and I just snacked on one or two, not going to lie. Now what I have here is a skillet over about medium high heat with a good amount of extra virgin olive oil and you want that to get really sort of nice and hot because as soon as these go in you don't want them to sit in the oil. You kind of want them to get that sizzle immediately because you want that color, you want that crispiness, you want that caramelization to happen as soon as possible because you, what you don't want to do, do is overcook these. They should still have somewhat of a bite to them. They should not be mushy. They should not be anything like that. So these look perfect to me. I'm going to start putting them in. Mm, I'm going to give that another maybe 30 seconds or so until the oil is just a little bit hotter. And it's definitely getting there, so I'm just going to start putting them in. And I put them in cut side down. If you have to do this in batches, do it in batches. You don't want to, you know, sort of pile them up and pile them up because you want them all to have great color. My Brussels sprouts are just how I like them. I cook them for about three minutes on one side, flip them, cook them for another two minutes or so. They're slightly soft, still have a good crunch to them, which is exactly what I want. I'm only going to do one batch for now and then do the other batch later. I'm going to add in my garlic, give these a good toss because I want the garlic to cook for about a minute or so. And I'm also going to season these with some salt and some pepper. They smell nutty and the garlic is just, oh, I'm telling you, you just have to try these. They're really, really delicious. And I had a di I had these just like this, which I was really surprised, at this restaurant in Philly called Amos. And if you follow me on my blog, if you check out my blog, then you'll know all about the post. But I had Brussels sprouts cooked just like this, and I, and I ate them, and I was like, these are like my Brussels sprouts, except they put lemon zest on theirs, which is why I'm putting lemon zest on mine, because it was fantastic. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. We all did. So I figured I have to share this recipe with you because it's so simple, but it's just done. Look at the color on those. They're just done really right. I'm going to let this go for another 30 seconds or so until the garlic is cooked a little bit longer, and then it'll be time to serve. I'm going to add in just a little bit of lemon zest. Not a lot. And that's a huge lemon, too. Give that a stir. Turn this off and put them right into my bowl. And I make Brussels sprouts like this, or I roast them, and then I toss them with dry cranberries, a little bit of balsamic glaze. Delicious, but these make my mouth water. They smell incredible. I want this one right here. Mm-mm-mm. Really hot. Mm. -mm. 
I don't know if you can hear that there's still some crunch left to them. And that's what I think is so important because if you cook them so that they're super mushy, there's nothing there. It just does not taste pleasant. These do. A lot. Mm. So hard. And so, so, so hot. But I hope that you give these a try because I'm guaranteeing you, even if people that don't like Brussels sprouts, they will love these. And to get the recipe, go to lauraindthekitchen.com. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.